welcome to the channel. It's called Keep Low, K double E P slash L O. Keep Low Productions is the company. I am the CEO, Lashin Turner. I'd like you to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the notification bell and thumbs up bell. I appreciate everybody for rocking out with me. And if you'd like to get your Keep Low Production shirts, hit me in the comment section. Serious inquiries only. And thank you for rocking with the channel, which is called Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I'd like you to enjoy the video. Thank you for rocking with Keep Low. If you like to get your Keep Low Production shirts, we have all sizes and all colors. I just want you to go to www.keeploproductions.com and just hit me up if you enjoyed this video give the video a thumbs up it helps me out yo peace y'all what it do keep low is in effect lashing the guard i'm in your area and if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel but look today i just wanted to build with y'all for a minute and this video right here is like about people who don't eat meat or people who want to stop eating meat because me myself personally i haven't ate meat in like 32 almost 33 years you feel me um at first initially what i did well actually i just i just eat fish and turkey occasionally but I'd rather have asparagus or, you know, just sweet potatoes, you know, just different things, you know what I mean? But um, as a meat substitute. And also, I be frequent certain spots where they have vegetarian cuisine, you know what I mean? To where I like, I'll get some tofu chicken. There's a little spot in New York up in, in BK and um, like on Flatbush, sometime I go in there and I'll get some um, tofu chicken, and they got the chicken on the bone. It's some ill, and it's already cooked, so it, that's a good look. And like they got a lot, a lot of vegetarian vegetable um, substitutes that do taste like meat because they put certain flavor in. And like a lot of these things that I be eating are organic because I mostly eat organic food. But that's just me. But getting back to what I was telling you about not eating meat i know i'm guard body right a, a, a active participant within the five percent nation or the nation of guards and earth so i got knowledge itself when i was probably like 13 going on 14 and by the time i got into my late like year of the 14 years old i knew the whole book of life which is 120 lessons and i just was executing myself in a certain way but like at the same time I was still eating like roast beef or, you know, different things like that. Because, you know, as a 5%, I had to eliminate the pork because I used to be eating ham and cheese and all that. But then I learned about how the pig wasn't good for me. So I start like when I joined the 5% Nation, I learned that the, the pig wasn't good for me. And then it was like a filthy animal, like the way its behavior pattern is and just different things it consumes, like as far as physical consumption as eating, you know what I mean? And, um... So anyway, not to just get into that with y'all, but look, then I, I remember I was young, like, and I went to um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I said, yo, let me get a bucket of spicy crispy mixed with um, the original or whatever. So I got it and I busted down. And then I was like, that was my last day eating chicken, you feel me? So I stopped eating chicken and then, um, so when I was just eating turkey and fish for the last 32 years, but like when I stopped eating meat initially, like, cause you know, chicken's poultry and turkey's poultry and fish is poultry. But like when I stopped eating meat, I was like, I felt so much better physically. And you see, I still got my weight up. You know what I mean? Even though like I slimmed down for the summer to tone it up or whatever, but like I'm still in my 200s and I'm six foot one, you feel me? And um, I could get to a higher weight and get like more muscular and that'll be in time. But, you know, just I like feel better at this weight or whatever. But um, like my senses got more keen as far as smelling. Um, I'm not sure about my sight because my sight was always 20, 20 or whatever. But 
like my senses got more keen as far as smell. I smelled a lot of things that my friends don't smell. And then I started like operating on different spectrums of my brain. You know what I mean? Cause like we only use like less than one third of your, your mental power. You feel me? Because people are not locked in with their mental power because of so much outside things that keep your vibrations down. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta lift your, your, your vibrations higher by coming in tune with the universe because everything in the universe is with in you, you know what I mean? So it's like once I stopped eating meat because I, on another note as well, I was like, like, look, when I was reading biblical testimony, right? That's, that's the Bible. I know all 66 books of the Bible and I know them fluently from Genesis to Revelations. You know what I mean? And like, I go into this and plus like, what made me get into it, I was already going to church before I became an active participant within a 5% nation or the nation of gods and earth. Now look, there's 5% that know what's going on 10% know what's going on, but they working together to keep the other 85% dumb, deaf, and blind. So that's the population of the planet Earth, right? But at the same time, when I was looking at different things within the Bible, I was like, hold up. This dude lived to 800. This dude lived to 600. You know what I mean? And I was like, so why did human species get an age cut? You know what I mean? Like, as far as longevity, how long you gonna live? Like, people some now, right now, in this day and time, I just posted on my Facebook page that a lady, she, um, she, she went to the age of 122 and she's still alive right now, black lady. So that was, like, really good. And there's people that's in Asia, like, different foreign countries like that besides the United States who be hitting almost 130. But look, Man used to be living longer, so I, I inquired within myself, why is man not living as long as they used to be living? You understand what I'm saying? So I was like, because they built the buildings and we got smog from that and it was messing up the ozone layer. We got the automobiles putting out pollution into the carbon dioxide, which enhances our breathing and just gives us longevity. And then look, men like getting a modern civilization um, state of living, they started cutting down all the rainforests for the trees and they started killing the animals. Look, see the cows and the horses and all the animals they be eating in the pasture, right? So then when they move their bowels, which is take a shit, right? So they take a shit, it's fertilizer for the earth, you feel me? So look, as every day, McDonald's sell billions of dollars worth of meat. So how many cows had to die for that? How many animals had to die for that? Cause it's just not cows and no shot at McDonald's, but y'all know. And look, it's just not cows they put in. Y'all might be eating horses or whatever. You don't know, you wasn't, you just like, this tastes good. You feel me? So I just felt like, damn, if I stop eating meat, and I don't want to really encourage nobody because I ain't going to preach to y'all. I'm just telling y'all my experiences. And if you learn and grow from it, then you do that. But it's to each his own. You feel me? And I'm not passing judgment if you do eat meat. Like a lot of my people that I fuck with, not a lot, because a lot of my people's getting conscious. But like some of the people that I fuck with, I might be like, y'all don't eat meat. And like the first reaction, they like, y'all don't know how you do it, son. I love me a steak. I love me some beef. And yo piece to them whatever makes your boat float you feel me but you know that when you consume meat into your physical composition the animals went into the slaughterhouse you feel me so look it's like when black people were slaves for 437 years right look you see them like certain slaves act up and they gonna kill this nigga excuse me kill this person and they take him somewhere and he don't never come back and all the other slaves be like, yeah, they killed him. You feel me? So when a cow, they all in their thing, more when they doing their thing, they talking to each other through their cow dialect, right? More whatever. The other cow understand that. So when they take him to the slaughterhouse and they hear him screaming and he never come back, and then they all start disappearing. 
they know. So they start getting stressed. And look, it becomes part of their DNA, the organisms. And when you consume that physically, it becomes part of your organisms. So it keeps your 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 vibrations low. So that's like you get fear, you get anxiety, you get stress, you get a lot of things like that. And look, my tolerance to those degrees is kind of higher because I'm in tune with myself, just being God body and being in tune with the universe. And I'm doing things to give my physical composition, which is my body longevity, so I'm not consuming meat. And that's just me, you feel me? But like this last thing to God, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low. Rock out with me, and I'm gonna give you things that's gonna benefit your life. And don't misinterpret because I might drop some street stuff, but it's at the end, I'm gonna still tell you don't do what those people did. But this is how I ate meat, how I stopped eating meat. And um, just build, drop your comments, leave your questions, subscribe to Keep Low. And if you want to get the Keep Low shirts, go to www.keeploproductions.com and get the Keep Low shirts. Yo, thank you all for your support. I wish you peace and prosperity. Last thing to God. Keep Low is in effect. You heard me? Peace, y'all.